Welcome to another crafty episode. I'm Frankie and this week we'll be working on some steps for our goblin temple build. What can go wrong? I understand that these builds aren't the most exciting, but I feel like they're essential. I also made a modular so I'm gonna get a few uses out of them. Not only that, but I made them in such a way that I was able to get about 6 or 5 of them without having to spend too much time on them. I'll also spice things up by showing you some upcoming projects I'm working on. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of the upcoming projects, hit that bell. Upcoming projects like the hilltop and the goblin houses. You don't want to miss out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel even further, don't forget to check out the Patreon page, link in the description below. Alright, enough of my face, let's hit the table. Right off the bat, I had to choose the measurements for the steps. I'm using cheap foam board. The one that's paper peels off nice and easy. I'm measuring a strip of 6 centimeters, then 5, then 4, and so on until I get to 1. I found that these measurements give me a slope that allows me to place the minis without them sliding off. The length of the strip doesn't matter yet. The longer you can make it, the better. I peel the paper off the foam with the exception of the last two. The 5 centimeter and the 6 centimeter. For those I mark with the blade about halfway making sure I don't cut the actual foam. And then I strip half of the paper off. After that, all we have to do is texture the foam. Keep in mind that when you texture the long pieces of foam, you will warp them. That's the reason why we didn't strip the paper off of the first two steps. When we glue everything together again, we'll rectify them and straighten them out. I also want to texture the edges here. I don't want the steps to look too perfect. I do this by running the blade on the edge of the steps, carving off a few pieces here and there. I lay the pieces down in order and start to glue them using hot glue. I rush to get this step done because I want to make sure that the glue is still hot as I lay down the steps. I could have taken my time here. This step right here is gonna come bite me in the butt in just a few minutes, but we'll get there. This is where I start to cut the steps at the right measurements. Because I wanted these to fit with the temple, I decided to go with 3 inches. Sorry for mixing measurement systems here, but it's just the most convenient way to actually measure them out. Using centimeters in the first ones and then inches on the second one. This is where my lack of foresight comes and bites me in the butt. I was so worried about putting these together before the hot glue cooled that I forgot an essential step. Making sure that the back of the stairs make a 90 degree angle. Oops. But don't worry, I'll fix that. I measure out another piece of foam 
and glue it to the back of the steps to make a 90 degree angle. Then I just hot glue it. Simple enough. But now I have a huge gap for the last step. I was planning on using a bit of chipped clay to hide the sides of the steps anyways, so I decided to fill the gap with clay as well. I make sure to texture it in the same way I did the foam. Then I cover it with a healthy amount of PVA glue. By the time I get to painting these, I'm surprised at how solid these pieces are. It almost feels like plastic. You know my usual steps from here. Black Mod Podge mix for primer and do a bit of dry brushing, white underpaint. You can tell from the background that I was working on a few projects at the same time. Check out those videos. The palm trees, the trees. Check out the playlist actually, matter of fact. I apply a nice creamy vanilla white. Make sure to do this with as many layers as it takes to get a good coverage. You don't want the primer to show through your color. That's another reason why I dry brush everything white. It actually intensifies the colors that I'm putting above it. After that, we will just use the same wash we used to wash the temple and we can call it a day. Beep boop bop and we're done. Even on a simple build like this, I still managed to make some mistakes but I didn't let them get me down. I just worked through them. The next step is to come up with the architecture for the goblins. That's gonna be fun. Don't miss out, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that YouTube stuff, comment. I actually do respond to just about everybody. And like Crafts and Mini says, get after that hobby. Peace.